All right, Drew, how you doing, man? Clean, brother. How you doing? Good to see you guys. All right, we got Lou here. Hey, Lou. What's Good up, to see you, brother. <laughs> Welcome to the Land of Oz. All right, I've always wanted to come to the Land of Oz. I'm glad you guys took some time out of the day to yeah. come down and get a quick tour, and we'll show you what we do here at this manufacturing plant. Right. I tell you. Whenever I was, we were driving in, we noticed that you have a really nice concrete oh, road out true. there. <laughs> this is a good street racing road yeah. right here. You, get well, ahead, you know, I tried to level that concrete out nice and level for you guys, so uh, <laughs> yeah. hopefully one day we're going to do a test run down. It's good the way it is. I can make a pass on it. Right, right. You know, guys, when you know when people are looking at these safe rooms, yeah, you can you know you can tell they're thick, mm -hmm. but you can't see my ceiling. So what I did was I built this cross section here cool. to show families what I'm putting above their heads. Okay. So you know, all of our safe rooms come with an 18 inch thick ceiling, eight inch thick walls, 10 inch thick floor, with an 18 inch pier below that. And uh, you know, what we have the patent on is how I pour this concrete. I pour the footing, the floor, the walls, and the ceiling in one continuous pour. Yeah. No joints. Whatever you put together in pieces will come apart in pieces. Dang! Don't let the AC out! What? Oh, is that one cool? <laughs> Don't let farm truck see that one. Woo! Is it cool? Hey! Man? You let the air out! Oh, Close wait, the sorry. door! Close the door! Dude, there is <laughs> AC in here. Okay. It's bad. There you go. Get me out of here! <laughs> got too cold in there. Alright, we gotta get cold in there. We gotta get cold in there. <laughs> Handicap people well, get in and out no problem. You know, they always blew my mind because you know that there's underground cellar companies that sell underground shelters to handicapped people? They have a slide that they install. They yeah. want you to pick the person up out of the wheelchair yeah. and slide them down into the hole. That's how I do it. it it's like, <laughs> that's what he does to me. <laughs> I got to slide in. <laughs> Let's say, you know, somebody lives in a smaller home or, you know, they just don't have the capital to get to a larger room. These are some of my smallest safe okay. rooms. You know, for right around $7,250. Oh, it's like a Volkswagen. Oh, Let's see how many yeah. people we can get in a Volkswagen. I live in here. That's, yeah. a, that's enough. Yeah, this is good for about. You gonna invite me over? About, no, I don't have room for food if you're in here. So. Yeah. Okay. So, say for instance, there's an F5 tornado, right? 300 mile an hour winds. Those winds can pick up a one ton truck and throw it right at one of these things. Wouldn't it tip it over? Wouldn't it crush it? They've tried everything and everything to break these rooms. Not only did we do a finite analysis, a finite analysis is above and beyond the two by four test. People think these other companies and contractors think that just because they survive a hit from a two by four, that they're F5 proof. The two by four test is a hurricane test. Straight winds. Okay, they shoot it out of that air cannon. Yeah. Right, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, and they used to use that back in the 70s to test for hurricane doors and hurricane windows. When they did the two by four test on our unit, we were laughing. We are going, what? we gotta do something bigger and better. And that's where we teamed up with Rochester Institute of Technology and they did a finite analysis, put all these sensors inside the concrete and you can see that on YouTube my father's inside the safe room why they're dropping cars on it Whoa, just you that's know pretty cool. Cool. that's a, right. that's a good <laughs> why have i not seen that you know <laughs> yeah so you know let's say uh let's say you want to ride the storm out in comfort you know they don't have to be just a, a plain jane a lot of families have been turning these into offices mm -hmm. bedrooms man caves mm -hmm. she sheds mm -hmm. but you know, if you take a walk in here, Ooh, look at that. Oh wow, this one's got a TV. It, it doesn't have to be just a concrete box. And a fireplace. It's got a TV, a fireplace, a gun safe. Yeah, you can oh. okay. store all your valuables. Got, what the go, hell? Don't go in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, woo! Okay, move on to the next. <laughs> wow, this one's great. Looks like a giant birdhouse. Are there birds in here? Oh, dang, check it out. All tile. That's stained. Tile with a smile. Oh, look at that stand. It looks like wood. Oh, wow. Wow, this is a wooden Oz no, tornado. No, no, no. It just looks like it's just appearance. <laughs> now, you know, guys, I wanted to explain something to you real quick because sometimes people get confused about what we do. Most of my work is formed and poured on site. We can build those rooms just about anywhere. So sometimes we're on golf courses and our crew, like let's say it was Monday, our crew pulls up, hand digs. All we need is enough room to get a wheelbarrow in the backyard. We hand dig the footing and base, remove the dirt. 
I build an inside box out of plywood forms, tie a full cage of steel around it, then we set the outside forms. The next day the pour crew comes in, fills the unit up. Third day we come out, dismantle the forms, assemble the door and put the towel floor in. Because what I'm about to show you, I don't want to get people confused that we deliver this product. We build this unit on site and we can deliver it on site. So we had this machine built here. This is a custom built crane that we use for Oz. So we're getting this rig set up to get out there and go deliver. Wow, this is something. So right here, this is a 100 ton knuckle crane. And then you see our, these are our overhead crane systems that we're gonna take and load this. So that, that's a 100 ton, that's only 25? That's right, crazy. because a 25 ton crane can lift straight up, okay? Okay, when you get mobile cranes, Okay, so I can pick up the safe room. As soon as I boom out, I start losing my tonnage. Okay. So I had to get a 100-ton knuckle wow. crane to go 12 feet off the rear end of this trailer. Wow. That still toe boots wouldn't help out here, would it? <laughs> I don't think they would. 25 tons. The one, the crane that we have at the Mad Scientist is only five tons. God, man, that's crazy. It's five times more strong. Yeah. What this system does for us is this, you know, it takes us from a construction company and turns us into a new industry because we're building a patented product in a controlled environment and shipping it out on our own truck. In areas with new construction, farms and whatnot where we can get this rig in, I can deliver my smallest room. But most of our work is built on site to where we can make it look like we were never there. Yeah. So now boys, what we're gonna be showing you here is, this is all where we produce all of our forms. Again, I, I try to get across to the community. We build our forms, we cut and bend our steel, we build the patented door, we do all of our own concrete pumping. There's no subbing out any step of the way. We're in full control of this project. The boys are getting ready here, we're cutting up some new forms, building from scratch. Uh, getting our stockpile going here, making sure that we have plenty of forms. I want to get one of these whenever I move out of my parents' house. We're going to need that. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. well, now we're going to show you the door manufacturing. Okay. This is where we produce all the doors. The material comes in raw, and when we're finished, we have the world's safest patented Tornado proof door built right here in this facility. This is awesome. This is the door? <laughs> I'm training it. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Everyone in the town might it. So, you know, it, it all comes off the truck, special material, special steel. And uh, this is my uh, one of my dear good friends, Joe. Hey, Joe. He's the mastermind behind all this. Okay. And uh, what he does is he'll, you know, fabricate everything. Product, which is what you see on the wall. So this is this is what your uh, finished product looks like when we're done. Nice. All right. Jeff Lutz could build. Where do you want this thing to go? You got it. Pick, pick it up. You got it. You got farm. You got it. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like 175. That's about 500 pounds. Wait. At least. <laughs> I, was getting, I was like 125. What? <laughs> We put all of our kits as we're bending and painting. And uh, what Stevie's doing here is he's getting ready for Monday. This is all the rebar that goes inside of the safe rooms. I want to hear it. You think you can bend that? Bend that? See if you can bend that. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. see if you can bend see that. You can bend that. Can I go that way? Yeah, that way. Yeah. And then you can that push forward? Yeah, push yeah. forward. Yeah. Hang on, let me hold the board down for sure. you. Uh, Asian, you got it. You got, I got it, it. Asian. I got it. Come on, come on. You got it. Oh yeah. Okay. That's hey, uh, right. hey, you want to fill out an application? Oh, I already want your You're fired. Oh, when you leave, I stay. Okay. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Hey guys, what do you think? You, uh, you want to take a peek at what that knuckle crane looks like when it's operating? Yeah, sure. Let's have a All right. Yeah. Let's take a peek. All right. So this is a knuckle crane. Yes, this is a machine, you know, this is a knuckle crane we had custom built just to deliver the odd safe room. Contractors think you can get a 20 ton crane to pick up 20 tons. We had to get a 100 ton knuckle crane just to be able to go 12 feet with this, with this safe room. Got it. All right, not going to work. Tons of concrete. You 
Now, let's do a science experiment. Uh, okay. I got more. Watch out! All right. I know all of these hand signals for crane operators, so let me take the lead on this thing right here. You pay attention to me, all right? I just want to make sure you know all the things. <laughs> is that yeah. This is down. This is down. Go Bring on. it on down, Shane. Oh, it's oh, just oh, 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 we already got go. lucky. <laughs> all right. We would have got sprayed. Make sure you guys are. Oh, push it, Barb. God, you're weak. Ah, it's a weak morning for you. It's a weak morning for you. <laughs> oh, it's bleeding. My Blood calves can't oh. even move this. <laughs> Let's see what happened. Let's see what happened to, to the doctor. Oh. oh! Hey, if nothing else, man, you guys could uh, recycle pop cans. All right, well, we appreciate you guys showing us around. We've often thought about getting uh, a tornado shelter like that, and I think that it would be a great idea. It's one thing you'll find with our safe rooms, is I can, I can guarantee you two things, your family's protection and a return on your investment. You know, yeah. people work hard for their money. Yeah. When you're going to protect your family, you, you shouldn't go to somebody who's playing a guessing game. This is the only thing we specialize in is true tornado protection. Hmm. So if you get a chance, you know, check out the website, look at the YouTube page, and we'll see what we can get done. It's All right, man. Thank you, guys. Oz Safe Rooms, Mother Nature tested, farm truck and Asian approved. As long as it has a bathroom. <laughs> so today we're installing a tornado shelter at Farm Truck's Lady's house. I know nothing about tornado shelters. I know nothing about building, construction. Uh, that's been farm truck's life. So we don't know what we're getting ourselves into, but uh, I've got a lot of questions. Why is there a toilet outside? <laughs> First question. Uh, well, this was a pool house at one time. You put a toilet in a pool house? Well, do you want to pee in the pool? No. We're removing this pool house. The Remove. demolition phase is always the funnest. Okay. Okay. This here, we want to make sure that we take care of this. This is like a brand new toilet. Look at it. No. Yeah. I'm ready to go on this deal. I'm not. I'm not ready. What is it? Is this R2-D2's grandfather? What? This? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's the pool heater, and I really don't know anything about it. Yeah, it's just kind of there. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, look at the frog in the rust. Dang it. Where'd it go? Look at it. Gross. That dude's got tennis. There he is. Look at him. Oh, oh he's trying to get hot toad. He gone. Oh, Susie will. He gone. Susie will bite that once. So anyway, I've oh. been working all weekend, and I've been trying to peel off some layers of this wood, and I'm going to want to repurpose this wood. Right around over here, you got a couple of uh, tools right behind me there. I've got the better tool. You know? Of course I do. This is the man's tool. We gotta take some of this old. We gotta take some of this old barn wood out. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. Beware of spiders. I can't. Oh, that's, plenty that's, of. Right, that's what I mean. I can't do it. Plenty of them. Look at that. Okay, right there. Look at that, dude. What is it? I can't. Oh, it's a mosquito, Asian. Oh, I got it. I got it. Splash of that. Yeah. Let me see that. Asian, I, I asked you to come out here to help me. Yeah. Because the tornado shelter people are going to be here any minute. The more that we have done, mm -hmm. the more money I save. Oh, okay. Okay. But me, nothing. Mm, I'm here for support. Here. Yeah, I'll take that. Support this yeah, okay. while I support this. Okay. Dang. Do that. Not so easy. Not so easy. Not easy. It's like Jenga. You got to figure out the pieces that move. Ooh. Ooh. We got to take a leak. We got to pull it. You see? All of a sudden, Asian's an expert. Hey, get out of here. <laughs> this whole place is going to come down. Take it easy! Just, huh? What are you doing? You gotta get out of the way, dude. 
if Asian worked for me full time in the construction world, that one stays. He would last about 15 seconds. <gasps> it's a good thing he's got jokes. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? And complain. How you doing? Andrew, you all good right? Good to see you. Good to see you, buddy. Right. Hell yeah, good to see you. All right. Good morning. Uh -huh. What's up? All right, so Oz Shelters has just shown up with their goods, a dumpster, their boys, their team. I don't think that we'll have to do much demo much longer, even though that's probably what Farm Truck wants. We're going to get out of these boys' way and let them work. You can go on break. So we're gonna dig a little bit on a footing. Uh, we'll set up the forms tomorrow. Okay. Uh, get it all ready to pour, uh, and then pour it the next day. That's exciting. Can I go home? Go ahead. <laughs> that went easier than I thought. Well, that's because we had many hands <laughs> making light work. It was going really slow when it was just you and I. Yes. Right. Yes. These guys showed up. They're not afraid of work. All right, tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Seven thirty. Don't be late. Uh, ten thirty. <laughs> don't be late. <laughs> okay. So yesterday, uh, we kind of slept in a little too late. It was an easy day. <laughs> the, the Oz guys showed up and they got their structure up without us. It's a lot of top secret stuff. There's a lot of patents on this stuff. Yeah. Uh, they really don't want to reveal all their secrets. Today, we're gonna pump some concrete. We're gonna fill this thing up. It's a monolithic pour. It's one pour the whole thing floor walls ceiling it's a pretty amazing feat of engineering to get this thing in one pour this is the pump right here the concrete truck will back up and dump the concrete right in here we'll pump it right up to the top we'll fill that thing up and uh, that's when the work will begin but right now mm. we're waiting on the concrete truck and lunch <laughs> are we gonna eat maybe yeah is that the concrete truck we're going to eat after because I'm going to make right. bricks. Cause... <laughs> 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 Is that what you call the concrete truck? Is that it? All my life, whenever the concrete shows up, there's always an adrenaline rush. Huh? You know, the concrete's here. No. It's time to hustle. Nope. Uh, do you still get that adrenaline rush? No. I mean, how long do have you, you been really? doing it? You how long have you been doing every it? Every time. I've been doing it for about, for about 15, 20 years. And then that adrenaline rush, what? That, the go, concrete go, go. brings the adrenaline. What are you talking about? Right? Well, there's a lot at stake here. I think it's the coffee. You know? I gotta take it. <laughs> <laughs> we get out of the way. All right, we want to be a part of it. So, what can we do to get in the middle of this thing? Get out of the way. Get up on top. Wheel that hose around a little bit. All right. Yep. We'll do it. It's good, dude. It's good. The adrenaline is flowing. We're gonna pour some concrete. Alright, you stretch it out? Stretch it out. You should. Oh, hell yeah, look at this. Alright, dude. That ends up saying, where? Yeah. That's all I got. Oh, come on. No, I can't. I really can't. You can't? No. Okay. Well, here, let me help you. No, don't touch oh me. my god. Oh, I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yes. No, that made my legs feel funny. Uh, 
Some of their proprietary methods are uh, very visible from how they how they do this whole thing. Right now they're filling it up. They're, they're creating the walls, the sides, uh, and eventually they're going to fill it all the way to the top to create the roof uh, with uh, with aggregated concrete. And it's all a single monolithic core, um, and that's where they're. That's where their patents come into play, and that's where their IP and proprietary ideas um, need protected. So um, we had to skip over a lot of it um, because of uh, the proprietary nature of the process. So this is obviously, you know, nobody knows what goes on here, right? This is just a part of the process. But you guys have, you guys purchase your own concrete pumps, right? And then you hire a local company, wherever you are, to pour the concrete directly into, okay? Assume I don't know anything about concrete, and I don't. Uh, how does he know how fast to pour it versus how fast to take a pump? With this type of work, when you're doing above ground shelters, you want to take your time. You don't want to pour anything too fast because you're going to worry about the pressure build up. You don't want to blow forms out. You don't want to run it at its full speed. You want to find a perfect medium. Okay. You know what I mean? You kind of, you know, you'll, it takes a little time to run to the back and look at, see how it's pumping out of there. Yep. And, you know, get your adjustments right. I've been doing it so long, I've generally got you know, in such a, an area where I know it should be. Now you can do it off a of sound at this Absolutely. point. Absolutely. Okay. Now, also, I'm smelling diesel. Is diesel kind of the, the anti-stick? Yep. We, are, we have a, a form release agent that's got, it's, it's cut with some diesel fuel. And uh, what we do is we coat the pump and we'll coat our equipment with it. Yep. What it does, it makes it so we can go up through the hose and it'll all fall right off. Thanks for the explanation, man. Yes. Patient, come on up here and have a look. Yeah. Oh, it's filling up, isn't it? Yeah. This gives you a really good perspective of how strong this thing is. on this job. This concrete would want to find its own level like water, right? And look how perfect it is going all the way around. They didn't even set a level on this thing. That's how good they are. All right, I'm going to get out of your way, let you guys finish this thing up, put the final touches on it. And uh, good job, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Coming down. Here you go, Lou. Oh, yeah, here we go. I got you. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Hey. Can the camera look in there? Or is that yeah, a take a peek on yeah. in there. Okay, okay. come on. Well, in, uh, firm, you know, just in that video, stick your finger in that floor so people see that that concrete's wet. Dude, I gotta be careful where I stick my finger. Are you trying to get me in trouble, bro? <laughs> what, oh, yeah. what do you think? Is that floor wet? Oh, look at that. Oh, wet yeah, concrete. Yeah. Creamy. yeah, plenty of Portland. <laughs> uh, so today, it seemed pretty easy, uh, but there was a lot of prep work leading up to pouring the concrete. The concrete truck showed up, uh, we filled this thing full of concrete and one pour. What's amazing to me is that your father 
built all this in his head. Whenever we build things, uh, you know, we all have a little bit of engineer in us, and we all think about it in our head and build it in our head first. But this guy had to do it all in reverse, right? Because it's one pour, all the forms have to be taken off. So he had to imagine all this in reverse, which is amazing. How do you see? It is, uh, you know, I think God every day for my old man. Man, it, it, it's an honor to get to work with you guys and be a part of this. I love construction. I've done it all my life. I'm a street outlaw now. Uh, and it, it's just been awesome for me to get to work with your team and, uh, and, and get to pour the concrete and build this thing. I'll tell you, it's been good therapy for you. Oh, it has. It's fun, you know, for Lou and I to watch you kind of go backwards to your, to your heyday yeah. and bring it back to the, to the 2020. I, you know, hanging out with my people. <laughs> yeah. Construction people are my people. Hey, you know, when good people get together, good things happen. That's right. Being able to work with you and, and provide you with this protection. And I sort of didn't tell the men what was actually happening, you know, with what we were doing. But the class and the respect that Farm Truck and Asian gave to our crews, after we left the, their storefront, we left their shop, They, you guys made our day. Talk about a phenomenal group of people, and uh, Thanks, it's just uh, an honor to be here providing this protection. Okay, so what's tomorrow going to bring? Well, now, you know, tomorrow the crew will show up yep. and uh, we're going to start peeling off these forms. We'll be assembling uh, the door, the hardware, putting all that on. Okay. We'll put the towel floor in and uh, within three days this project is completed. Yesterday we formed, today we poured, tomorrow we'll strip and complete this unit. It's been awesome watching it go up and I can't wait till tomorrow. Right. Now let's go get some lunch. Ooh, all right. Well, I want a burrito. Let's reveal that. that. Burritos. <laughs> Yeah, let him, let him, don't, don't help him. Oh, he's got it. These are the most important years of his growth. So you have to let them be. This is what will create the human. Yep. <laughs> We're alienizing him. <laughs> This is the most difficult part of the whole job. <laughs> so proud of what he's accomplished. Look at him. Look at him go. <laughs> I got it. Ah! <laughs> nice. Look how quick it's drying. The difference between this one and that one. I did the hard part, oh, Asian. Okay. Here, you, you carry this. Okay, yeah. And out to the truck. Here you go, bro. Here. Can you carry this for me, sir? That's, there you go. That's I'll carry, Asian. I'll carry this out to the truck. He knows oh, how to get things you. done. Thank you, sir. <laughs> it's going to be a good one for the truck. <laughs> oh, let's see what's behind door number three. <laughs> oh, a brand new tornado shed. <laughs> these ones are simple. Yeah, these, yeah. these will pull out. Show just like that. Don't do that. This man bends bare steel with his bare hands. Wow, man. Let's let's thing. see that again. Let's get a strong man competition. Okay. Double two. Oh, yeah. Why can't you do it the same way, bro? Well, I just... Why can't you do it the same way he did? Well, I haven't had my breakfast. For, you know? He did have a lot of breakfast, so... Have a nap. Yep. I'll be right back, and I'll, I'll bend the rest of those off. I believe you, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this, those are... I'll be right back. Look. Yeah, there's my knee. As soon as I get my cereal, be right back. Bend those up. We got problems. Look at the EKG meter. Look at that. Look at that. Definitely haunted. All right, that's hot. That's a hot sort. Let me check you. Thank you. Haunted. Definitely haunted. That's, that's it. That's it's not good that's today. Right. It's what not good. Well, where'd you put it? This is a keeper. We're gonna to want to keep this. Yeah, Agent's in charge of the laser gun. Oh, that is what I'm doing. Right on in here, Agent. Oh, it's 109. Did we put coolant in this? 
We the, should have. Oh yeah, we didn't run any coolant. The electric fans aren't coming on. Yeah, how are we gonna bake our pizza? Yeah, bro? this is not. <laughs> this, this is, you know, we probably blew a head gas. All right, we just pulled the last of the forms off of the ceiling, and that's where the concrete's the thickest. It's 18 inches up there. So we want to see what the temperature is. Oh, it's 120. 120. 122. Oh, it's going up. It's getting hotter. 120. <laughs> Hotter as we go. 124. All right, dude, it won't be long. That pizza will be ready and delicious. All right, today was pretty easy. Uh, it was easy for us because we really didn't have to strip the forms off this thing. Especially me. It was awesome to strip the forms off and see the final product. How the wood grain of the plywood just kind of molded right into the concrete. And the heat from this thing is out. Oh, don't, it's dude. A, it's amazing. Oh, hot, hot plate. You know? <laughs> All we have to do is install the door. Uh, we're we're going to put a roof on it later, uh, maybe stain the concrete uh, to make it match the house. Uh, but hey man, it's a short day mm -hmm. and uh, we get to take an early lunch. Yeah, I love it man. I can't wait to move in. You know, I like living right next to you guys. You know what? Hey, once we put a bolt in there, we'll take it for a spin. <laughs> awesome. All right, dude. It's all wrapped up. They got the door on it. Dang, dude. It's like a bunker. Dude. That's exactly what it's like, man. We're ready for Farmageddon. Okay. I'm a tornado, dude. Man, I'm a tornado. Dude, I promise you. Yeah? Yeah. 12 inches thick walls. Oh my gosh. Right? 18 inch thick ceiling. Oh my God, that makes the ladies real excited. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got here? We just got to do some concrete work out here. Okay. Right? Ooh, it's like a kitchen in there. And then, Oh, you got lights? We put a light in it. We got an outlet with phone chargers. Oh. Right? It's a light show. Ah, it is a light show. Oh, you, got a, you got a nice upholstered seat. Yeah, man. You know, you're really not going to be in here very long. You don't need yeah. much when you're trying to survive. <laughs> but yeah, dude, it, this is a wood constructed door. I thought it needed to be tougher than that. But what they got, they got like a quarter inch plate steel sandwiched between two pieces of wood. Oh. So it doesn't conduct electricity. With the power lines right oh, here. Oh, so right? smart. Oh. You know, if the power lines were laying on this ah. thing and then you grab the door to get out, you could be making popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> In your pants. <laughs> You know, they really thought of everything. We're gonna put a roof on it, make it look like more like home. Oh, okay. And we'll probably paint it, uh, or you know, you could stucco it, you could lay brick. Okay. Uh, you could build a house out of straw. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. You could build a house out of wood. Where's this going? Or you could build a house out of brick. Hey, huff and puff? And then you could huff. Uh-huh. <laughs> and puff. Okay. Yeah. Are we growing weed? <laughs> <laughs> but Mother Nature couldn't blow this house down. We'll have to see about that. <laughs> I hope we never see about that, and I hope we never have to use it. But, you know, the lady, she wants the peace of mind. Okay. You know, yeah. that we have a place to go just in case a tornado is coming. Yeah. All the neighbors have come over and checked this out. Oh, they have? Oh, we, you know, we've lived here for over 10 years. Okay. And we haven't really even met the neighbors. That's the talk of the town. But whenever this thing started going in, all the neighbors are like, hey, you want some peach cobbler? <laughs> <laughs> hey, and you know what? If they came over and wanted in, they could take my spot. For some and money. I would stand out. Here. I'll stand out here and charge money. For the entry team. <laughs> but yeah, man, they've got this locking system down. Here, I'll show you how this locking okay, system Okay, yeah, works. sure. Yep. Okay. okay, first of all, you close the door. Oh, oh no, we're Then it has ins <laughs> instructions right here. All right? Uh, check out the echo in here. What do you think? Hello? 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 Bueno? No, it doesn't work for you. Uh, no. Hello, hello. It bueno. only echoes in English. So hello, 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 bueno. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, so you, you, you put this little hook on like that. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> well, Don't not break that. Okay, then you do this and... Well, you should read the instructions is what you should really... Do not break that. We cannot. Ooh, like that. And then this thing goes here, like that. I see what they did here. It's okay. like the bottom of a crutch. 
Well, yeah, but see, you don't bump into that. Oh, okay. Right? Ah! Someone's trying to kiss me! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, dude, it's total peace of mind, you know, and um, these Oz guys are great guys. Oz Tornado Shelters, Mother Nature tested, Farm Truck and Asian approved. We're live. We made it. <laughs> <laughs>